Welcome everyone to the Mastermind Book Club. We recently read or listened to The Banker's Code by George Antone. George Antone goes into this book and we'd like to share our personal experiences on this book. Reggie, can you be the first? Yes, good evening, everyone. Uh, just to touch on the, uh, the book, The Banker's Code. So one thing I'll focus on, um, you know, as it relates to your money, a lot of times we'll take our money away quick to want to spend it and specifically take out loans and such by way of credit cards and other ways. And we want to use that money to pay off things that we want to buy and purchase and do. And we often find ourselves with a lot of debt and paying that debt multiple times over before we finish paying it. So what I'll say, better way in, in order to sort of address that is instead of going that route is to basically end up, as they say, there's a statement when you have your money, before you spend your money, you pay yourself first. But in this aspect, I'm gonna say, if you do want to have certain things, you will pay yourself off first, as opposed to paying someone else off. And another thing is when you think about the casino and they say the house always wins, you wanna be the house, right? So you wanna be the one that's always winning and not allowing someone else to win, i.e. the bank, i.e. the credit card companies, i.e. the lenders. Be all those things in one and you can be the winner. You could be the bank. You could be whatever you want and you can make sure that you're being paid in full. Thank you, Reggie. Pay the house first, pay yourself mm -hmm. first. Or sorry, be the house mm -hmm. and pay yourself first. Thank you. Gina. Yes. So I've learned uh, pretty much just about what Reggie was talking about, to be the banker <laughs> and not the <laughs> consumer. And also... On there, he gives us like a prescription on how to uh, attain wealth. And um, he has about five things that we need to do, he said, to uh, find the most active, the five most active real estate uh, agents in your area. And also an attorney, that would be number two, uh, that knows about the laws related to raising capital. Uh, number three, find three hard money uh, brokers. And fourth is get an escrow service. And number five is find the best coach, he said, and I quote him, on the planet. Very and good. if we were to follow those, you know, that those five formulas or the prescription, then we <laughs> be on our road to developing wealth for ourselves. That family. Beautifully said, Gina. Can you text that to me in, in, when you get a chance as you're listening? Beautifully said. Thank you. Charles. Good evening, everyone. In the book, The Banker's Code by George Danton, he talks about ad asset classes. You have your stocks, your bonds, your cryptos. But the main thing is investing is a finance game. It's not whether you're involved in just real estate. It, it's mm -hmm. being involved in all of them. Uh, equity funding, being an angel investor, just as uh, previous members of the panel said, you need to be the bank. You need to be in charge of your finances. Uh, There's a, a show that called Shark Tank. You need to know your numbers. Always know your numbers. And uh, someone mentioned earlier, I'm going to steal, steal this from them. The golden rule <laughs> is that he who owns the gold rules. So I'm going to end with that. Beautifully, beautifully said. It's powerful, the golden rule. Cool. Tijuana. Hey, everyone. Okay. Uh, so what I got from uh, the bank code is he was saying to not only use your own self, but other people's money to be able to um, build your wealth. And he did mention something about using life insurance and also using real estate and like assets like that to build on so that you'll be able to, you know, move forward and build your generational wealth. So I was like, I, th that's being able to uh, keep your assets moving and growing for yourself and your family when you're not around. So Thank you, Tawana. That's why that. Beautifully, beautifully said. Martha. Uh, good evening, everyone. This powerful book talk about how to use banker secrets to generate passive income safe and less work. A most powerful 
world building ever know. You have to educate yourself to be able to do that and are very hard working to learn the techniques, how to be your own banker, how to sell, wholesale, how to uh, short sell, how to spend money in the marketing and deal with sellers, with realtors, with buyers, deal with the lenders and bankers. So it's gonna be um, a lot of learning, a lot of work, but at the end to be your own banker, pay off uh, to have a better life and better future for you and your family. Thank you, thank you, Martha, I appreciate that. Two other <laughs> important things that this <clears throat> book tells us, the banker's code is one, is being a hedge fund manager. What does it entail? Basically, you're given other people's money to manage it. And you make money whether you lose or you gain. Obviously, you want to gain so that you can acquire more. Can you imagine being in charge of a billion dollars from people around and you make money off of it? Well, that's what hedge... Uh, hey, what is it? Uh, <laughs> I just lost my wording there. Um, hedge fund managers do. And... This is a reality. This is a type of banker. Two is the biggest buildings that you go around anywhere in any city are banks. Why? Mm -hmm. Have you ever bothered to question that? And the third thing, the most important thing is look up what it means to be a private lender, to become a business of, a, of private lending. Very important points in this book. I recommend it. And if you're serious about ma making passive income or eventually making passive income, you're going to have to work your way in the beginning. That's just the reality. This is the Mastermind Book Club. Until next week, when we'll review another empowering book. Take care.